Hey guys! So, as you can see behind me, for our next unit, we are going into three digit subtraction. I know, I know, don't freak out. I know a lot of us don't love subtraction, but it's something necessary. Of course, we have to learn it so that we can be ready for third grade. So, we just finished up two digit, or three digit addition, I'm sorry, and now we're going into three digit subtraction. If you remember a little while ago, way back when we were in real school, we did two digit subtraction. And you know, going from two digit to three digit, it's a little tricky, but it's a lot of the same strategies and the same types of steps that we use to solve. So all this week, we're gonna be doing three digit subtraction. We're gonna be learning how to subtract in the ones, the tens, and the hundreds place. And we're also going to learn how to use standard algorithm and to regroup with three digits, okay? So for today, today's a little bit easy. We're going to start off kind of slow, and we're just going to do subtracting 10 and 100 from three-digit numbers. That's it. Simple. Either 10 or 100. That's it. So let's get started. We're just going to do a few examples. It's going to be a short video, um, just real quick to show just the quick steps. You know when we start with any three-digit number, I have 357 here. Yes, I have it twice. You'll see why in a moment. We're going to subtract 10 and 100. If I subtract 10 from 357, I have to line up the ones and the tens where they go in the correct place. Please remember. And I can just subtract straight down. Okay? It's all of our normal strategies. 7 minus 0 is 7. 5 minus 1, remember you have 5, you take away 1, you have 4 left, and then you can bring your 3 straight down, 347, okay? We did this before, back when we did two digits, okay? All you're really changing is the tens place, right? The 100 stays the same, and the 1 stays the same because you have 0. Now let's do 100. Same idea, we're going to line the numbers up, okay? minus 100, and we're just going to subtract straight down. 7 minus 0, you have 7, you take away nothing, you still have 7. You have 5, you take away nothing, you still have 5. 3, take away 1, you have 3, you take away 1, and you have 2. Okay? Simple steps. Let's do a couple more. Let's do 600. 12, and we're going to do it for both again, just so we can see the difference remembering the hundreds place versus the tens place, okay? So let's do, let me get a darker marker for you so you can see it better, minus 10, okay, same thing, if you have 2, you take away nothing, you still have 2, if you have 1, and you take away 1, right, you have 1, you take away one, now you have nothing. And bring the six straight down. Remember, there's the invisible zero there. You don't need to write it unless it helps you do your work, and then that's fine. And then minus 100. And then the same thing. I'm going to go straight down. I still have the same. One minus zero is one. I have six. And I take away one. And I have one, two, three, four, five left. Okay? In this one, all you're changing is the hundreds. All right? If you have any questions about this, of course, you can message me. You can leave a comment. I want you to do your exit ticket that goes with it. Also, side note, if you see Mrs. Park wearing the same shirt in other videos, don't judge me, okay? I'm making the same videos today for the whole week. Smart, huh? All right. Do your good job. Show your work. If you need help, send me a message.